time. There's a story in Genesis about a man named Joseph. He had a lot of bad things happen. The main problem he had was that his brothers were jealous of him because he was their father's favorite son. So you know what happened? His brothers tricked him and their father and sent Joseph to Egypt as a slave. You could say he had a very bad day. That's not all. So many unfair things were done to him. Mm, so sad. Hi guys. Hey, uh, we had a very interesting question from one of Trinity members, or one of the children. He asked, if God is so powerful and all-knowing, and God is so merciful and loving, then why does God allow something bad to happen? like the COVID-19 virus? Hmm. Well, that's an interesting question. Why does God allow bad things to happen to us? Well, I want to show you something that seems impossible. Okay? Like this. See this paper? Well, stick around and I'll show you how to do it, okay? But you know what? Joseph kept trusting God. He became a slave. Then he was sent to jail. And even though he helped people, everyone forgot about him except God. Eventually, he became the Prime Minister of Egypt and because God gave him wisdom and knowledge, Joseph was able to save all of Egypt and all the nations around it from a terrible famine. Well, I want to thank the person who asked the question. And many times I went through difficult and sometimes painful situations. And usually, I pray these four prayers, okay? One, prayer number one. When things happen and I don't understand, I ask, God, please help me to believe that you know best. Because we gotta trust God that he is in this situation, or God knows the best way out of this. Or second prayer that I do is, what do you want me to do to help with this problem, right? Sometimes we just sit around and complain, but it's better to ask, hmm, how could I be of help in this situation? The third prayer is, will you help me to be loving and patient while I'm going through this problem. We want, pro we want things to be solved. But many times God's timing is not our timing. So we have to be patient and loving while we're going through this. Four, fourth prayer. I pray, God, would you help me to have peace even if I don't know all the answers? You know, I find out, i reading from the Bible and history and even my own life, some things take a long time for it to work out. And even though I don't know all the answers, I don't see the end of it, I don't know how this is going to be worked out, I'm going to have peace and still help with working out the problem. Well, I hope this helps. Stick around because I want to show you how to make that 
impossible paper trick. All right. You know what else? His brothers, who were so mean to him, realized their mistake and apologized to Joseph. And this is what Joseph said to them. What you meant for evil, God turns it to good for the saving of many people. His brothers cried, and Joseph too, because they knew that even though they went through a very difficult time, God used their situation for good. Well, this is how you do it. You get a piece of paper like this, okay? And you cut it in, you fold it in half, right? Like this. You fold it in half, right? And then you unfold it. And then, you see this one side right here? You cut it up to the folded half. Right here, three, hold on, half, right? Can you see that? And then you I'll show you hold on you cut it right here also you see the three cuts you make right one two up here one up there and the way you do it is you You flip it like this, and you see, it looks like it's an impossible cut. But once you know how to do it, right, it's simple. And many times, something that seems impossible to us is possible with God, and we just have to trust Him. All right, thank you for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye.